up guys welcome back to my channel sarah winstead here bikini athlete and coach for pro physique and today i have for you my top five meal prep hacks so as we get busier, kids going back to school, fall is coming, it can be very, very tiresome to just make your food every single day, remembering to make it, it falls by the wayside, you drive through. And so meal prepping can be a very useful tool for whatever your goals are, building muscle, losing body fat, maintenance, whatever it is looks like for you. And so my first meal prep hack is gonna be all about protein. Prep your proteins in bulk. Don't just buy one packet of meat. Buy two packets of meat, throw them in the crock pot, throw them on the grill, saute them on your stove top. I've been on a Genio turkey kick, if you've watched my Instagram. <laughs> I've been on a Genio turkey kick for a couple of weeks now. This is super, super easy. Literally two minutes straight from your freezer into your oven and two hours later you have a crap ton of turkey if you're into that. Another good option um, would be something like these turkey meatballs. You can throw them right in the microwave. Um, you can throw them in the oven as well, but prepping them in bulk gives you a lot of options for the entirety of your week. So if you have the protein prepped, there's no excuse to not hit your goals. Fats and carbs are really easy for a lot of my clients to hit. Protein is normally where we fall down, and so I, that's why I recommend it's my number one meal prep tip. Prep your proteins in bulk. That way you have enough for the week and then you can divvy them up as you kind of make your prep bowls or you can just keep them in the freezer and the refrigerator for when you need them. Number two, utilize frozen vegetables for meal prep or even when you're on the go and have you know a couple minutes to make a meal. You can buy them in just single, like you know just, just green beans or I love the variety packets, especially the ones that are seasoned because they give you more color for your day. It's more of a wide variety of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals that we need every single day. So this is a great way rather than just buying the, you know, the, the broccoli, the carrots, the peas, the corn, it's all in here in this bag and it's real easy. It's about four to five servings per container. So again, you can just microwave it, divvy it up into your containers and you're good to go from here. I love frozen vegetables because they are picked at the height of freshness and then flash frozen. And then you can also cycle through a different varieties every single week based upon what's on sale at your grocery store. If you are gonna do fresh vegetables, I think that's a great idea as well. One of my hacks for fresh vegetables is gonna to be to utilize foil containers when you roast them. That way you can actually weigh it out, pre-cut, pre-portion everything out, put them in the foil containers, roast them in your oven, and then you just dump the foil containers into your meal prep, you know, boxes once you have everything done. And so it makes it really, really easy to utilize fresh vegetables because again, you know, just doing the entire sheet pan or anything like that, you gotta weigh it before you gotta weigh it, you gotta figure it all out. And so this can make it really, really easy just to dump it in afterwards. My next hack is gonna be about spices. So utilizing spices can really help add good variety to your foods and encourage you to kind of go after different themes for the week. So I have a lot of different spices in my cabinet. There's just a few of them. Chili lime seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning, lemon pepper, garlic, Italian seasoning. And then I just picked up this ranch seasoning, very good on vegetables, um, from Trader Joe's last week experiment with seasonings and spices on your vegetables, on your meats to give them a good, you know, kick every single week. And it helps to add again, like I said, different themes, different flavors to your foods because it gets very boring, you know, chicken. Yeah. But there's like a thousand different ways you can do chicken with the spices, with the flavorings, with preparations, like I mentioned, grilling it, air frying it. So don't be afraid to kind of branch out and experiment with spices and flavorings each and every week and experiment with different themes as well. My last tip, start small. Start with one meal that you eat every single day, usually lunch for most people. Start with that. Prep your lunches every day for a week and get that habit built up as a good baseline for yourself before expanding out from there. Too often I find that we try to change 15 different things very, very quickly and we end up in trouble when we're just like, oh gosh, it's so overwhelming. I can't do this. Then we quit and don't do it. Start with one meal, lunch. Prep your lunch. If it's easier for you to eat the same thing every day for lunch for a week and it's something that you actually enjoy, do that. Lay that habit down first. And then once you get the hang of meal prepping, then once you get the wheels turning as far as like your spices, your proteins, your vegetables, then you can expand out from there and say, okay, now that I got my lunch down, maybe I'll prep my breakfast or maybe I'll prep a snack for me to have as a quick kind of go-to in my refrigerator. That way I don't have to like think about 
my meals for the day. So the key here is also to take some decision fatigue out of your day. That's why I love tracking and logging my food. So if you have your lunch prep for the day, you have that just swipe over and it's in your tracker every single day. You know how many macros you have for that meal. And then you know and can plan for the rest of your day as well. So just to run through the five hacks again, number one, start with protein. Prep it in bulk, buy multiple containers of things, grill, air fry, go to the freezer section and buy the ones like me because I'm lazy. <laughs> number two, Again, second part, I'm lazy. <laughs> Frozen vegetables, very, very easy to use. Throw it in the microwave, divvy it up in your containers and you're good to go there. Number three, fresh vegetables, throw them into foil containers for easy roasting in the oven and easy dumping into your containers. Number four, experiment with spices, add some different seasonings to your meals and you know create some good flavors and some good themes for your week. And the last one, start small, start with one meal a day and then expand out from there and grow it. Then you're gonna be a master at meal prep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below your own meal prep hacks that you discovered over the years, as well as any other video topics that you wanna see. I wanna make sure I'm putting out some great content for you guys every single week. And then of course, like, subscribe, all the things. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.